White Cutters and Babies. This is another week with our betting sponsors. B-U-S-R. Busser. If you want to call it that. Apparently, that's not their name. Oh. It's just B-U-S-R. All right. Yeah. And, um, listen, if that's their name, we're not going to give them one. B-U-S-R dot com slash cutting weight. Now, here's the thing. We're a family, and we're working black men in this podcast game, and we need you. Help us help you, right? Do you like money? I love money. Bro, okay. okay apparently, y'all didn't like it. So, B-U-S-R is doubling down. Let me tell you what they're doing this week. You know it's a big fight coming up, right? Which one? Okay. It's the Anthony Joshua versus Usyk fight. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. This is what BUSR is doing. They're having a promotion, right, where they're offering double winnings on the Anthony Joshua and the Usyk fight. So if your selection wins before the final bell, whether it's a knockout, TKO, or disqualification, you'll earn double winnings. Double winnings. Bro, double win. What's so two? if I bet $2,000, yep, I get what back? You will get $4,000 back. Yo, man, I'm about to I'm, I'm, I'm about to get on Buster. Okay, look, log in. I'm trying to tell you, we doubling down the money, right? Because clearly y'all didn't like free money last week. They don't like free money. Now I'm going to tell you who to bet on so you can win free money. Anthony Joshua. Who's sick? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Anthony Joshua is going to win by unanimous decision. No knockout. Anthony Joshua is going to win. Let me tell you why. I don't know Anthony Joshua personally, but I know that this guy is willing to accept the boogie, the, the what they call him, the nightmare, the boogeyman, uh, Usyk. He's you not call a, him the boogie night. Boogie night, whatever, whatever you want to call him. A, how they ever do that in Ukraine? I don't know. I'm not over there in them streets. All I know is if you bet on Anthony Joshua, you're going to win money. But not only do you bet on Anthony Joshua, you got to bet on BUSR. Dot com slash cutting weight. And when you bet on them, because Malik B, I do my picks and they always win. I know boxing. You're going to win double of your winnings. Now, how do you do that? How do you do it? Bro, remember this fight is Saturday. So when you go to the bet, you got to bet at BUSR.com slash cutting weight and you'll get double pay. By using my link, you'll get 100% match bonus on your deposit this week. 100%? 100%, right? Only make sure you get on get in on the action. That's 100%. Let me say that again. So if you use this link, you'll get 100% match bonus on on your deposit. Only this week. So Saturday, who you betting on? Uh, uh, Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua. And what is he going to win by? A uh, 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 decision. Unanimous decision. And I guarantee you, if you don't win this money, you don't like money. I'm giving you free money. I love money. You love money. I, I love, love it. Too. The only way you can win free money is if you bet on Buster. That's not their name. Damn it. You done messed me up. It's BUSR.com slash cutting weight. Go, go put Anthony Joshua, unanimous decision, and thank us later. We're trying to help y'all weight cutters and babies. We want y'all to be out here looking good. This is money. Go over to the website. Go over to this link right here, BUSR.com slash cutting weight, and then bet on Anthony Joshua, unanimous decision, and come holler at me in my DMs and say thank you, Malik. That's all I want. Thank you, Malik and Jamar. Appreciate y'all. Uh oh, you ready to rap? Oh, what time it is, my guy? You already know what time it is. When you hear that sound, you do it again. Come on, man. You already know you cutting weight. Cut the bullshit. Hell yeah, we. we I, I, hey, we got a lot of positive comments for the sponsors. That that means people are paying attention. Good man, good man. No, I mean we I finally can... got it. What you saying? Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm just happy to be here, nigga. <laughs> we happy to have you, brother. This this glitter starting to um wear out a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the weight cutters, baby, you talking about? They want another one to uh, uh to oh. auction off. Oh yeah, we gonna auction. We gotta start doing this like as merch though. All right, I'll make another one. Make another one, and we just gonna. I make Evan face, face better on it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, leave it like that. They need to see. They don't, they don't know who Evan is, so they just need a visual of who this guy could potentially be. <laughs> Disrespectful. <It's> not- <laughs> I was like, yo, this guy, I mean, he don't look good, but he got a dope voice. All right, what you do this weekend, brother? Me? Yeah. Oh, we rap, nigga, I forgot. It's already Wednesday. Rap it. Oh, we got, oh, yeah, rap, rap about what you did. And then we'll just. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, oh I go first? Oh, if you want to. Nah, you usually go first. I got, this uh, your so, podcast. so I got like a list of words that I did. I was watching Wildin' Out, right? <laughs> so, you know, Wildin' Out, they give you like a word and you just got to freestyle. So, right. gonna, so this one I'm gonna do right here. See, let me see how I do. Okay. Okay. 
I do the same thing. I just hopped out of the Bentley. I'm popping. Trying to get out of space like a rocket. I'm really fucking dry. Need a faucet. But if I start beating, you gon' think I'm boxing. I wanna go to a place warm like a tropic. If I get money, these girls gon' say I'm toxic. When you get money, head great like it's sloppy. Coming out my body, I'm digging in my pockets. Looking for my wallet, I'm trying to cut it up. I'm pulling out the socket, I'm getting chopped up like a bocce. You pull a socket out your out your pocket? I'm out my pocket, and in my body, I'm getting chopped up like a bocce. Hell yeah. That's hard. I respect that. You're getting chopped up like a bocce. Hell no yeah. love language. But yeah, that was a wild and out. Yeah. Uh, freestyle. I mean, you can do it a little bit. Give it up bit. for the Black Squad. The Black Squad. <laughs> wild in. Wild in. Wild in. Yeah. And hey, there, there you go. There you go. All right, here we go. Um, Watch him. I ain't got a lot. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, well, this is it. Yeah. Weight cutters and babies and ladies. It's your baby daddies. And we see ya back for another week of tea. So, Haitians getting whipped by border control. Uh oh, better call Andre Berto. Uh oh. Yeah. And that's that. That's all you need for the current event slash bar yeah. with Jamar neighbors. Weight cutters, nigga. Let's get into it, man. Yeah, yeah. You cut it off, F. You cut it off, F. Very bo- short. You know, my favorite thing about <laughs> Jamar's raps is what? that you don't need a beat for it. Cause he ignores the beat entirely, <laughs> yes. so it's just he just starts going da 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 yeah. da 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 da. It has nothing to do yeah. with keeping on time, so it's just like <laughs> I could just cut the beat there. And he just, he just rap. <laughs> you said it's better if he just start rapping acapella. <laughs> to my yeah. ladies, having babies, <laughs> no drama. Yeah, that's like a to pop my... song. <laughs> Yo, uh, welcome back. This is another episode of Cutting Weight with Mally B and Jamar Neighbors. Oh, and behind our camera, I got our main, our main man, Evan. What's up? Uh, bro, how y'all been? Y'all cool? Y'all good? Man, we breathe. I'm breathing. I feel good, man. Evan, how you feeling? Can't complain. All right. Well, Cruising. All right. Well, I, I just realized people are DMing me, uh, Jamar is a sex symbol. What you mean? Well. <laughs> Who like me? I mean. Y'all what? be talking mad shit in them comments, talking about he like a demon and all kind of shit. I saw. I saw <laughs> your mean saw, little comment. They say you look like Welvin the Great. I didn't like that at all. I am great, but <laughs> Welvin? Really? Evan, do you know who Welvin the Great <laughs> no. is? No. Oh, my God. If you Google that, brother, you was like, oh, that's so disrespectful. That's it's that a, guy who was like, got him, and his teeth look like an avalanche. Uh, avalanche. Avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, my teeth is a little, a little bit better shaped than his. Hell, yeah. You got that Randall from Monsters Zeke. <laughs> yeah, I, I, nigga, I'll bite the fuck out somebody in a fight. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Bro, do you use your teeth in a fight? I think I would, nigga. <laughs> like if I, like if, and nigga, I, I feel like I bit an ankle before. <laughs> you bit an ankle? Yeah, I bit an ankle before, nigga. Oh, Highland Park, we was getting jumped by all these Mexican dudes, uh-huh. and the motherfucker tried to stump me out, and I caught his shit, and I fucking ripped off his fucking, uh, his dirty ass, uh, what the fuck them shit did, his dirty ass Cortez, and I bit that nigga ankle. Mm, hell yeah. yeah 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 true mexican he got like the cortez and mm-hmm. some la shit yeah man them cops traced it back nigga to the teeth and shit and i was like i don't know she talking about officer damn they got they went back to the root <laughs> <laughs> he went back. i tried to put a tic tac in my shit I'm like nah, i don't know what you talking about man i don't know what you're talking about i used to have a gap when i was little and i didn't want a gap so i used to take like uh this little tissue and wet it up mm-hmm. and then like have a small little cr- and just stick it in between and just live and just live bro <laughs> It's like, oh, what happened to the gap? I'm like, bro, it, 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 I'm different, man. My teeth came together. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> together, and it said, oh, yeah, bro, damn, man. The reason why you're a sex symbol is because apparently uh, Bobby Lee's wife uh, is is on you a little bit, I heard. That's not his wife. His girl? Yeah, it's his girlfriend, his longtime girlfriend. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew that. And you and you withheld information on this podcast. That I mean, what am I supposed to do? come out and say? You know who want to fuck me real bad? Goddamn right. We we gotta clap it up for that. <laughs> you, mean, got a, you got a baddie that's like 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 man. She openly admit like, yo, if I were to die, or you, or Bobby Bobby Lee, if you were to die, I will fuck Jamar and neighbors. She could have choose a like plethora of men. It's, it's so many good men out there. But she said comics. Like who? Like who? Like who? Like who? Name name ten men she could have named before me. Oh, like comics or just like per, in, in the world. world. Oh, bro, clearly she'd have went back. Patrick Mahomes, she had to go to him first. Ooh. And then she would have went to, of course, you got to go with Mick Jagger. Then Ooh. three, you got to go with 
Sugar Ray Leonard. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then four, you got to go with Ray Mysterio because if she in that world a Ooh. little bit. Yeah, then after that five, you got to go to the Instagram. You got to go to DC Young Fly. Ooh. Now six, this is where it gets tricky because do you go with Albert Pujols or do you go with uh, Matt Kemp? You don't know, so we'll just keep seven on <laughs> Sean Kemp, nigga. Sean Kemp. <laughs> <laughs> he said before your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Kemp, you got to go back. Oh, she want to go do, do the hood. Nine, I mean, nine and ten is going to be Lil Boosie. <laughs> then you. I thought you were going to be like, and me. <laughs> nah, bro, she didn't see me yet. Nigga, I, uh, he said, nigga, when she see me, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, that dude, ooh, the guy I used to like. Yo, the podcast, have you guys ever had it, though, where you're with your buddy hanging out, you meet this girl, you guys maybe go to dinner, everybody's hanging out, and then you're catching a vibe from his girl? Mm -hmm. What would that do? Like, if you've had that before, what? how does that mess up your relationship? Because now it's like, you don't want to tell your boy because then you sound like an asshole. But at the same time, like if you hang out, I don't know. That's like that's a sticky situation. Not a sticky sticky situation. I, you just gotta understand how to play it. I just, I just, um, I remember being at dinner, at dinner with a with a friend and a girl that he was, um, he was trying to, you know, get yeah, with get or whatever. With, yeah. And you know, I ain't there with nobody or whatever. It's just in the me. Third wheel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifth, uh, like fourth wheel or whatever. It was whatever. And um. And um, I'm sitting over here. I don't give a fuck about nothing. And I'm just like, just talking, just making jokes and shit like that. I love that. And once you make his bitch laugh and shit. <laughs> that's, that's your bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah low key. And I that. noticed that she was laughing and shit like that. And I was at the, like, oh, nigga, I'm about to, I'm just about to keep making her laugh and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I can see him getting like a little like something funny. Uncomfortable. Like, like yeah. you know, like, yeah. <laughs> like that. This ain't all that funny. Man. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, a rookie yeah. move. That's you, a rookie you bring your girl of like a while around your friends that maybe you're funny or good looking. You don't bring a date. Yeah, no, no, you no, no, no. You got to know who to protect around. Like, you yeah. don't, it's like if you had a model friend, you don't invite him to the dinner while you're just going out with her. Yeah, you yeah, got to no. know, like, I'm going to keep her away from any threats until we're locked down. <laughs> well, That's on him at that point. Unless you re, unless you, unless you, I live by, unless a you're clearly code, the alpha. I live, I live by a different code. Uh, I have to see all the girl that I like friends first before I choose if this is the girl I want to like invest into, because if I'm, if I'm digging her and I'm like, yeah, man, bro, she got, she bad and all that, bro, come with me. She gonna have like other friends with her. And then all her friends way better than her. I'm upset. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why I can't, I committed to that. You can't commit mm -hmm. too, too early, Evan. Mm -hmm. You got to resent her a little I bit. Resent, I'm like, damn, why she got the table? <laughs> I'm vibing with her best friend. Damn, she interrupted our good date. Yeah. Damn, why you still here? None of my dudes like you. Damn, bro. What what a check at? You know, you get yeah. upset. You mm. get pissed. You got it. You can't commit too early. Now, if a guy brings a lady around at the, you know, around your, your homies and, you know, your homie funny or good looking, you got to be confident enough to be like, all right, you know, you can have that. You got to, like, honestly, just how to play both fields. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show y'all because I've never been in this position. I've been the guy that she always liked. So, okay. you bring. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a humility we love oh you know? thank you no problem Listen. <laughs> so when you bring a guy when you bring your girl to the table so so for instance jamar right jamar, can, you, can you hold the belt right now because you're talking you. like the champ i got you right here right. <laughs> look so if you bring jamar like all right so jamar and i i'm like hey jamar bro i want you to meet this chick i'm like really digging you know what i mean she cool and all that bro you're like all right bet we're gonna meet at uh b dubs right all right so you get there before as you chilling you got your little swag on and all that i'm like hey bro what's up hey what's up bro this keisha be like, all right, cool. What's up, Keisha? I know I like well mannered. You are real respectful, and you just start getting jokes, getting jokes, and then she gets to the point where now it's a difference. It's levels of like how a girl flirt with you. If you killing, she be like, oh my god, stop! I can't with you. Right? That's number one side. That's level one. Because when she say I can't with you, she most certainly can with you. Mm -hmm. Now level two is like, oh my god, stop! And she touch you. Oh shit, nigga! Come on, bro. When she touch you, and I see that, I know level two has already been breached. It's already there. So now I can intervene or let it happen. Right? I'm like, damn, all right. Like, think of a joke. Well, you know, you don't want to be corny because then you try to out joke a comedian, then you look stupid. And then level three is so, and then she turned her body oh, to Oh no. She yeah. com completely excludes. Now you're not even there anymore. Right? So if she adjusts positions and look at you, bro, you might as well leave. You might as well leave. And so, you can't blame a guy because a guy is addicted to the laughs. Yes. So like mm -hmm. if he has a pretty girl laughing. Yes. It doesn't matter if it's your best friend's girl of 20 years. Like, no. he's going to keep doing it because it's just like, it's like crack. You can't say it's no to that I mean, shit. I, man, I had, a, I had a homie who was making my chick laugh and shit, man. And How did you make it feel? How did it make you feel like how did, on the inside? 
Because you're a comedian. It hurt. I know. It it you, we invited oh, yeah, him I mean, to he was a comedian, too. Oh. You know, but he was a, he, he was a, uh, it just hurt. It hurt, yeah. Right. He, didn't, he didn't fuck her or nothing, yeah, but, but he could have. But he could have. <laughs> <But he> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and you know that in the back of your mind, like that man could have hit And he you leave and he goes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a test. He was like, hey, bro, don't ever bring a girl around me. Who the fuck you think? Yeah, but you the avoid to, like, listen, if a guy getting more laughs than you and a girl got to choose, you got to just pull out a stack right then and there. Yeah, you got to pull out a stack, like man, you a forgot stack of the, what? You forgot who, condoms. Oh, I was like, like, I don't even carry a stack around now. <laughs> yeah, like, especially yeah. if your buddy has more money than you. That work. <laughs> <laughs> you pull out like five bucks. You're like, this is all I got. <laughs> Bring the homie around who is clearly better than you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You got to know when to pull the alpha move. Damn. So what do you do in level three? Like, yo, so he's lame at this <laughs> point. They got, they got like Jam- Jamar is killing right now. So she lived to level one. Jamar just threw a joke out there, being himself. Like, yo, I'm just gonna laugh and all that. Like. Oh my God, Jamar! What should Jamar? Right now, she remembering his name. Oh, That's shoot. why you should be careful about like dating way far out of your league, because then if you bring someone who is in her league around, yeah, then she starts to go, "Wait a second, but, See, my, but, but why am I dating down again?" No, but you also have to be confident. You got to let it happen. Like, hey man, you get to the car. Like, hey, you like Jamar? She's like, yeah, I like Jamar. Like, he a cool dude. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Take the power back. I take the power back. Like, that's my homie. You know, I've been knowing him for a minute. Hey, listen, this is who I hang around. People who like successful. Like, oh my God, yeah. Then you just like gotta you gotta have a serious conversation with it. You know what I mean? Oh, like, you're taking the power back low, Taking the power like back slowly. slowly, like but, slowly, slowly yeah, yeah. but it's always it depends on the ride home. Now, if y'all Uber separately, that's Jamar's girl. Oh <laughs> no. She's waiting for his. She waiting his for black, Jamar, yeah. His Uber black. Because you got the you got you got the pool. <laughs> you got the pool, right? <laughs> I wonder who I'm gonna get my, in this week. Yeah, like four other people in there. <laughs> my you gotta is, walk to it. You gotta you remember you got the little yeah. little Ubers, you got a meet up Uber driver? <laughs> That's a cheap one. Nigga, I don't know, right? Like, um, like my thing is like, my thing is like, okay, I wouldn't bring a girl around unless I've like, you know, like, already. No, no, no. Like, like, you know, I like fucked her already. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Like a few times. Then I'll bring her around. Now she can choose whoever she wants to choose. Because mm, you're annoyed at this point. You're like, yeah, I'm not can like, somebody take her off I'm my like, hands? I'm like, I already did it. If yeah. you guys, or oh, whatever, then blah, it's, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's, listen, I'm, throwing, I'm giving you a lob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm different. <laughs> like, I, What if I mean, you really like her, though? What if it's not just about getting laid? Well, you have to if you have to bring around the homies, because if she vibe with your homies, that's even better. Like, damn, right. can she get along with the boys? Oh my God, she the one for me. That's why the homies is always a test. Yeah. That's what like, now if she start liking the homie, that's the risk you have to take. But yeah. she's a real girl. If she really like you and y'all vibe, you bring around the homies, they gonna let you know. Like, yo, bro, listen, that girl bad, but listen, her breast thing ain't gonna work out for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, something, something like that. Like that she got a little older, something about her is off. But if I like her, I'm like, bro, y'all good together. Damn, where your friends at? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn, I need to be around this. Where your friends at? You I, know, I can't believe women is women can be so fickle. You know, like iffy, like with their decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but like, men are the same. Like just like Malik was saying, he's like, I can meet her friend, and if her friend's bad, mm-hmm. now all of a sudden I'm thinking about that. Yeah, that's true. Right, we're humans at the end of the day. Hey, you ever you ever befriend a a a, a fine girl, never fuck her because you know she got better friends or whatever. That you fuck hey, everybody around. That's right? that's what boy. That was me in oh oh nine. Oh, I'm doing some old shit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be. Shit, you man. always gotta be friends with the baddie because she have other baddies mm-hmm. and she go talk you up and nothing like another baddie talking. You know, she going to talk to so like a pretty girl. Yeah, and she's like, "Oh, look, I got Jamar. Look, you gonna love Jamar, girl. I love that dress. Uh, I Bro. love it too." You know who also love it? This dude, like my friend, he the one who picked it out for me. Oh, he got taste, girl. Do he got taste? And like, here, he over there. How you doing? I'm Jamar. You ain't gotta say too much. She yeah, yeah, yeah. already talked you up, bro. Pretty mm. girl, and it's coming from a baddie. Mm. All you gotta do is shut the hell up and don't say anything wrong. And yeah, that's see, what dudes fuck up. At. Thank you. You see, yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, see, I fuck up. I know. Because I'm know. like, because I'm like, I like to, um, you know, yeah, okay, okay. I got taste. I got this. I got that. Mm-hmm. But I'm like talking wise and shit like that. I'm like, man, I can be annoying. I can be obnoxious. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm like, I would like to present you with this. And if you can get past this, then I'm gonna like, all right. Hey, what's going on? So you, you know can, what I'm saying? See, you can't present all of you first, though. That's oh. what it, it's like. It's like a presentation. It's like slides. This is why right? I didn't get Maya. This is exactly why you get Maya. <laughs> We're gonna coach you up. That mystery, right? It's like when you do a, a Microsoft Excel uh, PowerPoint, mm-hmm. right? You got the first stage, the second stage, and then you do that little slide, and the third stage. You come in three stages. 
Mm. All right, Jamar, that's the first stage. Malachi, second stage. The third one is neighbors. <laughs> okay? Doctor. <laughs> I'm preaching right now. <laughs> MD. <laughs> talk to him, Malik. Talk me up. Now, now look. <laughs> now, Jamar, that's the guy that's this appearance. Like, oh, he got his own style. He don't follow trends. He make trends. Okay, you cool. Malachi, that's the funny dude. Like, ooh, he saying some wild shit. Ah, he can do whatever. He's cool. He's a good hang. <laughs> neighbors, neighbors is the guy who's gonna commit. That's the guy that's like, yo, listen, I'm gonna commit to the commit. first two. <laughs> the commit. The commit. Shit. The commit one. And then they're gonna see that. And they're like, oh shit. I like this dude. But then you 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 give yourself all in once. It's like it's like honey bunches of oats. Okay, oh, my favorite okay. cereal. It's okay. your favorite cereal. Favorite cereal. And which one do you like, the orange box or the blue box? Blue. Okay, you like the blue box. Ugh. Most women would have go for the orange box. So we're not gonna take Evan advice on this because the only difference is almonds, right? <laughs> and I think we, almonds is the difference. I cannot believe you like almonds in your cereal. I know, let's ignore uh, that. Some I'll, white shit, bro. You put almonds in your cereal. I can't no, believe no, that. There's let's, almonds in this cereal. Oh, okay, I, I like I like that version. That's what I'm saying. The oh, blue yeah. box? No, nigga, the uh, the, uh, the non almonds. Yeah, the, yeah, the honey bunches. The regular orange, one. Yeah, the orange kind. No, okay, the regular ahead. is the blue. The almonds is the regular, and then they took the almonds out at some point and, and it's made the, it the orange one. The orange one is the best one, though. I mean, if you're like a kid, you know, I get it. Okay, so, like so, I don't like almonds. Well, let it's me listen to icky, this analogy icky. he okay, got okay, going okay, on. Okay. <laughs> he's ready for he loses. I was just about to say you throwing me off. Hey, hold on, what's up, weight cutters and babies? We decided to take a quick little break. Just to remind y'all, look, it's a big fight this weekend. I know who I'm betting on because I want the money. I'm betting on Anthony Joshua, unanimous decision. And what I'm going to bet on, I'm going to bet on BUSR.com slash cutting weight. And reminder, I'm going to win double earnings this week. So if I bet on, before the bell, final bell rings, TKO, disqualification, knockout, whatever, whatever I bet on, I'm going to get double earnings. Earnings. So remember that. And you should bet on Anthony Joshua, unanimous decision. You're going to win your money. Thank us later. Fuck, I threw it to Evan and then he lost. Bro, right. damn. All right, so we all some Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> and, and then what happened? <laughs> Who to be? Like, <laughs> Nelly. Uh, <laughs> what? Now, you remember we got a little Honey Nut Cheerios uh, sponsor? No, bro. So listen, it's the Honey Box, right? Mm -hmm. You are, it, it's like too much. You can't be too much, right? It's just a little bit. It's portions. Okay. And then she going to come back. Like, damn, man, I'm hungry. You know, it's uh, I want something to eat, right? Uh, Jamar is like a convenience store. It's quick and fast. It's like, oh, I know what hey. I can get, whatever. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, no, hold on. I'm Change on the, roll. the analogy. I'm on the roll right now. I'm on the roll. You can have fun in a convenience store, right? Okay, okay. They have everything. Every, so now oh, I'm a store in the corner. All you're right. in the store. Hey, you pink dots. You pinks. Oh, all right. I thought I was a liquor bodega, store. Bodega, bodega. Bodega. Yeah. You're a bodega. Oh, Everything like, is in there. Like, bro, you chilling. Like, oh, I can find this quick. I don't have to cook. I'm like, oh, it's Jamal. I'm having fun. Oh, my girls. I bet you will take a shot. In, in, in this aisle, I bet you will. Oh, dude. This bitch take a shot. This bitch take a I love you, bitch. Oh, my God. I'm having so much fun. Oh, this is the best night of my life. Oh, thank God we went to Jamar. Right? Now, mm -hmm. now. When you present Jamar Malachi neighbors too much, you like Whole Foods. Like, damn, man, I got a shot for this shit and I got to eat it. Oh, my God. What? A, all right. Well, I, got, I got eggs. Oh, I got eggs. I got milk. What the hell is the milk? Oh, my God. I need cheese, too. Oh, my God. And I got to go home and cook this shit. Woo! Oh, I hate being an adult. Oh, my God. It's so hard. It's too much. It's too much. I don't want this. I want to go to the convenience store. And that's what you is. Who's your celebrity crush? Hey, I like. Uh, <laughs> I was so lost. I like the whole uh, thing. that nigga called me Whole Foods. <laughs> I said, Quick and easy. He <laughs> said, Malik, who you like? Who you like? <laughs> oh, my celebrity crush. I had to say Ashanti. <laughs> why, why? Why you almost spit out the water? I like. I love Ashanti, bro. <laughs> what you? Wait, what's so? What's so funny? I can't get Ashanti. That's what. What you hold? <laughs> Bro, what you take off the headphones? In this <laughs> bro, this bro, is a wild and out episode where he was like, yo, talking spit, where you got to like hold the water in. They got to say a funny joke. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm behind. <laughs> These are Nick Cannon thoughts. Bro, bro, I can't have a Shanti, bro. You fuck, you got me fucked up, Jamal. I'm not no dude that can't get a Shanti. Are you serious? Bro. <laughs> Looking out my window, knowing that I should go. 
All the time. Bro, what are you talking about? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. Let me let me take this belt and, and get some dignity. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? I can't get a shanti? <laughs> I just wasn't expecting you to say a shanti. <laughs> He like there's a dyer out there, nigga. There's like uh bro. fucking Jennifer Lawrence. This nigga said Ashanti. He be murder murder ink or something? <laughs> bro, Ashanti right now, you will With not the get sideburns. A, yo, it, it, two people I really had a crush on growing up. It was Ashanti and for some reason Chelsea Handler. I can see Chelsea Handler. Okay. Yo, and let me tell you this. I respect sense. you for that. Thank you. You know why? That. Why? Because Chelsea got that um got that thing. Now I'm like, oh yeah, behind all that, that bitch is crazy. Thank you. Now, if you was able to pick that up at a younger age, yeah. you a real one, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah I see you. Thank I see you. you. I see you. you. Who's your celebrity crush? <sighs> hmm. Uh fuck. Who'd I say when the cameras was off? You said uh shit. I like Maya. Well, let's, let's just, well, that's gone already, yeah, right? Yeah, you say, said that's gone already. She already in the abyss. She's somewhere I, just like out there. Like you don't, you don't see her anymore. Uh, she just, behind the smoke. All right, <laughs> I like Jennifer Lawrence and uh Zen, and uh and uh and X Men and Zendaya. I was oh, Zend she's so skinny. Yeah, but Zendaya. Uh, all right, well, but I think I, I look at I look at Zendaya and I just be like. I look at her the way she carries herself and shit. You ever you ever look at a chick and be like, man, she need a thug in her life. Yeah, plenty and of I ain't a thug, yeah. but I'm like, you I am from Compton. Thing. Yeah, you know, and she need some of that. You you the hood Spider Man? Because right now I heard she dating a, the regular Spider Man. Yeah, Hunt. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and he had like a boxing video, and I know you could beat him up for a fact. Yeah, as a matter of fact, what's his name? Tom Holland. I'm calling Tom Holland out. Oh, you doing it right now? Right now, goddammit. Oh, I'm calling Tom Holland out. We the, fight for the girl. Oh shit. When it gets in there? Yeah. Oh shit. You, so you gonna you gonna Trailer. fight? You're gonna fight for a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can just tell she come with an attitude. What, 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 <laughs> He's a bad uh golf golfer too. He's really good. He's really good? Yeah. Mm. Wait, he wait, so when you say bad, I mean Why's, yeah, like he's really good. Like he's sick. Oh, okay. I don't know if that means anything. Nothing you, manly but... about golfing, though, Evan. It's like a rich guy sport, though, yeah. you know? I mean, you out there for all day. <laughs> you're out there all People day. say it's fun and shit. I, I, I don't, love it. I don't see I know, Evan, go- Evan kills. I don't see me getting good at golfing. Like, I don't, I don't, I just don't see, yeah. like, me wanting to do it. I'd rather just play, learn to play chess. I oh, like yeah, chess. I can see that. You like to think? Yeah, I love to think. <laughs> <laughs> me love to think. <laughs> Shout out to the people out there who like to think. Yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, if you thought today, we love you. Uh, I like, uh, I, I like, well, they said most uh, contracts and deals are made on golf courses because you spend yeah, all that time. Yeah, business because you spend yeah, like four business. hours together hanging yeah. out. And he's like, man, I like this guy. You know what? Boom. Here's a million dollars. Here's a billion dollars. Right <laughs> Damn. Um, Maybe yeah. I like golfing a little bit. <laughs> I like gladiator. No, nah, go back to the gladiator. Call him out. You know what I mean? No, you gotta, bro. You but gotta fight for what you love. I do want to do American Ninja Warrior. Oh, I see you could kill that. Yeah. No, nah, you think t- you can he, do it? He get tired fast. Nigga, yeah. I'm not my stamina great now. Is it? <laughs> I'm good. I'm in a great place. Well, I don't And wh- it ain't nothing but swinging and shit All like right, that. What happened when boy, no, what happened when you get that little pole and you gotta have like these little these little uh what is it called? Like these little sticks that's sticking out the wall and you gotta jump up on it. Each level, but you tra- but they train but and you got the arms, but you train to do it. Yeah, but it's like twenty of them that you got to. It ain't no damn. T- I just watched that show yesterday. I think it was literally like four of them. Oh, they must have cut it down. <laughs> 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 A lot of people was complaining. I guess <laughs> <laughs> Man, too hard. <laughs> I can't I was, get all the way up there. I might, I might have been watching American Nigga World. Like, that's why I was. Because <laughs> I the know it's too challenging in my life. Like, now at the end, you got to get up these. Cra- <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was the Black People American Ninja Warrior, and a lot of people fail. Yeah, yeah. man, I, I don't know, I man. Like that, that shit look fun, bro. Like, yeah, you athletic enough. Like, yeah, you can't think you can do it. I, it's it's times though. You got to be doing it under like under three minutes. You think you get that in you? If I train really hard, for sure. You gotta train. You keep saying that, but I mean, I already train. Like I already yeah. train, but I'm like, if I train for that, so you'll go to Muscle Beach and literally train up with those guys, and let's say like six months, and then so happens you you got accepted to do a challenge. Absolutely. And you think what will be your time? You think? Just guessing off the off the cuff. Probably like six minutes. They had to go to commercial break with my ass. And <laughs> he's <laughs> halfway through. <laughs> he stopped and smoked the blunt. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> taking a phone call. Like, hey, hey, you see me on TV? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Malik, shout out to the, the podcast, man. Hey, yo, yo, hey, I, I'm like, nigga, feel it. Hey, I'm looking. Shout out to weight cutters and, uh, and, uh, and Busser and, uh, <laughs> and, and fish fries. <laughs> anyway. You bet on me, right? You bet. <laughs> Come on, Jamar. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what the crowd looking like? What are we looking at you? <laughs> uh, Evan, would you ever do American with Ninja Warrior? Oh, yeah, I'll kill that shit probably. I'm no. not in shape, so that but wouldn't you, be good. If you ever, well, you was in shape at one point in time. At yeah, one like, point in my life, I was. Yeah. Uh, no, I think I'd suck at it. To be honest with you, I mean, I, I would. I think I'd get like, like I think I'd get tired. You get like tired? I think I'd be like three quarters of the way through, and then I, my body would just fail on me. What if your celebrity crush was watching? Would you train harder? I do whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? Uh, <laughs> I would say Kate Beckinsale. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That girl oh, yeah. from Underworld, yeah. just killing vampires. Yo, she old, right? But just look it. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah. She's like mid forties or something. But she, yeah, just, man. she looks, does not look it. Yo, I hear good stories about her. What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? Nah, I'm just talking. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I thought you had a style. I thought you had a style. I'm like, did you fuck that up too? Nah, Damn. man. She likes young guys. Yeah, but she like them young and white. Young, white, and cool. Like Mac Miller, Pete Davidson. Mm. You, maybe yeah. this guy, you, maybe, you, maybe, you maybe. not list not one cool one yet. Yeah, but Mac Miller's not cool. Th- their way of being cool. Oh, yeah, yeah like, like emo boy cool. Yeah, gotcha, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, got you, got you. Pete but Davidson. she likes to like eat him up and spit him out. Like she's not like loving him. And I like to be ate up and yeah. spit out. <laughs> yeah. well, treat like, me like on a, a plate right here. <laughs> treat me like an apple. <laughs> Wait, what? Huh? I just bite into me and a worm come out. Hmm. You wild. The metaphor, the worm would be. All right, look. Uh, <laughs> y'all, y'all not seeing. Well, now I'm not picking up. What about Trina? The, the baddest shit. I never had a thing for Trina, bro. Did you hear? Have you ever heard her album? Yeah, of course. You played a song on uh, your story with Trina. For sure. The I did. baddest shit. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It didn't go with what you was trying to say, though. <laughs> His hey, stories. Hey, do you ever watch it? Jamar's <laughs> stories? It's so bizarre. It's like off the wall, bro. Sometimes I'd be in a rush and I'd be like, I don't know, Trina, bad as bitch or whatever. And I'm going up and I put the fingernails and shit. I'm like, why that shit look gay? And I'm like, oh, fuck, my bad. Too late. You, can't, you, don't, you don't delete it. You don't delete. Once you commit, and that's your last name, commit neighbors. Commit neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> and the commit part is there's Jamal, there's Malachi, there's neighbors, and there's commit. Now commit. <laughs> you're like, you dating three. You dating three different stages, bro. All right. There's a, bonus, there's a bonus level called commit. What about Kalani? Oh, nigga, she tight. Oh, my friend. Uh, he met her. We saw her in uh, at the Grove at the Cheesecake Factory, <laughs> and she was a fan of his show. Ooh. And he was like, he didn't know. She's like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm a big fan. He was like, wow, and I have a video, and I put it on my screen. But when I did it. My all the words was saying like, "Oh, my bro finally met his crush and all that." Man, I'm so happy for him, and I tagged him, and it's over the video of them hugging. He was like, "Bro, why would you put words over the video?" I was like, "It was more about my post." I was like, That's classic Malik. Like, I can totally see Malik doing that. <laughs> it was like, bro, I can't even like savor this moment. It says, <laughs> "So happy." It was like a heartfelt speech, literally all over the video, and like big font too. So yeah. you don't see. You gotta like weed through the words to see in the background. Oh, that's Kalani. Oh yeah. my God! And she invited him. She she stayed over there that way, and she invited him uh, to her crib and stuff. Mm. Yeah, Damn. and uh, they ain't do anything. They, I think they just like. I love that. successful stories. Ooh, I like that. You like word. that? I like that word. Successful. Saw it on my teacher's uh, shirt when I was in seventh grade. She wore a shirt that said "successful." Whoa. That's yep. a crazy seventh. teacher. Yeah, I know. I know. And I called her out on it. I said, "I like your shirt, Miss Poe." And then she was like, you know what? Go to detention. I knew you was going to be the one out of everybody to read this shit. And I was you not like, supposed to read her shirt? What the heck? She's a teacher. <laughs> but I was the only thing that could read in that class anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, Where'd she get that shirt from? Martin, uh, brother man? <laughs> like, you all got these shirts? <laughs> Whitney Hutton? <laughs> like, <laughs> Damn, bro, that's. Uh, did you have fine teachers growing up? Did y'all? Nigga, I had a gang of fine teachers. Growing I didn't up. have any. I had one, and my buddy in my class had sex with her. That's what? Like, like, like in the grade? Like in the grade? Like, yeah, like, like we were in, we were uh, freshmen in college, and we had this like young, like twenty four year old teacher. We, oh were, we were all like God. nineteen, eighteen, and uh, he was like this tall, good looking guy that looked way older than he was. And then um, 
you know, we weren't like close, but we, we were like buddies from this class. And then all of a sudden, like towards the end, he's like, yo, I hooked up with the teacher. And I was like, what? And like, I didn't believe him. And then she walked into class and was like giving him eyes the whole time. And I was like, oh, you did. Oh, my man. It was crazy. Wow. Clap what? it up for that legend for yo, hooking up man. with that teacher and not telling. Because usually they'll hook up with him and tell. Damn. Yo, yo, uh, you know, it used to happen in my school, in middle school, was that I went to this, I went to this school where, okay, I got kicked out of. I got kicked out of like normal school, so I had to go to this. Um, I had to go to this. Continuation. Um, it wasn't a continuation school. It was a non-public school, so it was like so a private school. It wasn't a private school. It was a non-public school. <laughs> well, it was a school for bad kids. Got it. Got it. And it was only bad kids. We all had behavior problems, gang bangers, and crack babies. <laughs> Whatever. We was all in this motherfucker. But the teachers there, nigga, were was beautiful. so fucking bad. I'm talking about Miss Ramsey, Miss Poe, Miss Hope Pepper. Like, all of them was bad. And so the students, like the male students and shit, since they all thought that we were slow and shit, some of them niggas just like grab on their ass and shit like that. And all them niggas would get would just be like, which is like, stop it, Antoine. Stop it, Antoine. Cause you know they all thought that we Bro, were fucking slow and shit like oh. that. You guys were playing up that you were like slow. Yeah. Oh, then, you was buying yeah. into the bit. Oh, that's so. Oh dope. my god, I didn't do anything because I, I I I was oh, always scared. Well, then you was really was slow then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone else was in on the joke. Hey, he, he was too slow to know. <laughs> I had too much respect. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, but, bro. Ah, man, and boy, ah. Oh. And so I saw one of the teachers when we was all grown up. Two of them was all grown up, and they was still fine. Okay. And I was like, "Congrats to those queens." I was like coming up as a comic. I wasn't like, but I was like coming up as a comic and shit. And um, I saw Miss Ramsey one time going into uh, the Delamo Mall, and I said, "Hey, Miss Ramsey, and whatever." I'm, I'm in my bag and shit. You know what I'm saying? I said, "Hey, Miss Ramsey," and he says, "Like, who are you?" And I was like, "Oh, I went to West Side Academy or whatever." <laughs> that was my school. It's called Shout Out to West Side Academy. Yeah. WS. Sounds Google like it. a fake school. Like, yeah. it's, 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 it's not like it's West like Side. It, it's not like it's in the back of a big five. Actually, actually <laughs> if I even like, describe the school to you, you'd be like, "Nigga, shut up." But describe it then. Okay, it was basically an apartment. It was basically an apartment complex that they just turned the apartments into um into classrooms. So we would literally be learning like in the living room. But it'd be a chalkboard in the living room, and then math class, they would split the class up, then math class would be in the back of the bedroom. Like <laughs> <laughs> move the bed out of the way, put the chalkboard up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And the teachers would Bruh. be and the teachers would be instructing from the kitchen. So like, <laughs> it's like Damn, real bro, they fucking had these shit. baddies wow. out here in the apartment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the funniest. baddest teachers ever, bro. Right, so you saw Miss Ramsey? Yeah, so I saw Miss Ramsey. I was like, hi, Miss Ramsey. How you doing? And she was like, oh, hey. And I was like, what is I was like, oh, I went to West Side. What did you do? She said, okay, look at you. You done grown all up. And I was like, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was like, okay. And I was like, all right. <laughs> you see them Haitians getting whooped on the border? <laughs> I'm seeing, see I'm that? seeing a, like a pattern in, in Jamar's you, life that he Thank his you. his ability to close is not quite oh is not quite. He's good God. at the door. He's good at gooding in the door, yeah. and then he just, and then he walks right out the door. He's right there on the goal line, and he fumbles. All you got to do is follow the fullback. <laughs> I like that That's story. All you have to it do. stopped before the ending. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was I was I don't really, know how to close. I apologize, <laughs> these weight back, weight cutters and babies. God damn it! This, you saw this brother ate fish fries, dog treats on the live on a. <laughs> on the ad read, so this is what we dealing with. West brother. Side, and we love them. West Side Academy. <laughs> Damn, Jamar, you got to man. <laughs> if I had bad teachers growing up, boy, I'd have been in there. I know me. Yeah, man. All my teachers look like they was off of Men in Black. <laughs> <laughs> Are the aliens? <laughs> the aliens. I'm like, oh my god. He saw. He he stomped a roach and they been screamed. And shit. <laughs> hey, she turned around. She turned. Around. <laughs> the hell you doing? <laughs> now, I, I, my dad put us in like a. Great school, like growing up in uh, Louisiana. So I went to Westdale. Oh, I told this on another story on the podcast. It's a true story. Oh, bro, I want to. I wonder what she's doing today. Okay, so I'm in seventh grade, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I'm at Westdale, and this girl, my classmate, she has like grown woman titties, right? So we didn't, we children, we didn't know anything like that. But she was like, the, she was hustling. She was like, she, she wasn't like, she didn't come from like uh, wealth. She was like, like kind of poverty. But she'll do like these sales where if you like, everybody like loved titties. Titties was big back in the day. 
She'll do like 50 cents to grab them, a dollar. Whoa. Yeah. And what? she'll have, and that recess, she'll have like, like this little booth. And then you got to be back there. But of course, you're a kid. You uh-huh. don't want to go alone. So I always use it. I'm like, man, come on, come on, come on, man. You'll come this time. You'll come, come. I don't want to go by myself. You know, I don't want to be matched up with not a guy that's not your friend. Right? So you got like, and in West, in middle school, it's six through eight. So she probably had like eight grader dudes like singing on it. And then Whoa. like, see, yeah. And we, <laughs> she never got caught because she'll always switch locations. So you see kids running all over, like, where's she at? Well, she said she's gonna be by the bungalow. She's like an Easter egg. <laughs> we had us, boy, we was in shape looking for those titties. Yo, Bro. that's crazy. And, and uh, dog, I'll never forget, she, uh, it was, I was like, man, come on, bro. And I had my dollar, and uh, my friend was broke. I was like, man, I don't wanna split with him, but I didn't wanna go alone. So I, like, kind of so like 50, like, yeah. I, I was like, bro, come on. All right, we did 50 cents, like, and we had to grab them. But here's the weird thing about it. It was only 13 seconds. She never, never, no one ever got over 13 seconds. That's good. 13 seconds of just one, yeah. two. That's a long time. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah, go ahead. Five. Squeeze it. Get it. Six. Get, go, go ahead and jiggle seven, it up. Seven. Yep. Both hands eight, now. Eight. Pretend. Nine. I ain't like you about to go for it. This is what she do. Ten. I ain't like you about to. Stop. No, oh. no, my, you go. You go. All right, all right, all right. No, no, I'm gonna be good this time. No, you don't do it. Again. <laughs> he said I'm gonna be good to, a, to another kid. <laughs> I'll be good. <laughs> you wow, didn't want to ruin, yo. Yeah, she's crazy. a legend. She's a legend, yo, bro. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, it was a wild thing in the South, man. Yeah, I wonder how, what she's doing now. How do you close? I don't like. <laughs> I'm like a year. I mean, you're right. Like I can close like sometimes and shit like that if I really don't give a fuck. But if it's something that I really, really, really you like, you seem want, like a guy that like is used to having a woman go all the way with you, like a little bit. Like you, you do the funny, you do the charming thing. You're cool, but you're not probably not used to like trying. So every once in a while, when you have to try, mm. you're probably out of your depth. Oh, when I try, I'm thirsty as fuck. That's what like, I mean. Like, like it's yeah, unnatural yeah, yeah, yeah. for you to like go for it. Oats, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the convenience store. Yeah. You're not the convenience store, bro. This yeah. is how you close. I I I see my man got it. And this is for any weight cutter out there that don't know how to close either. That's suffering from the same thing you're suffering from. You know? What, what, what's that syndrome? Incompleteness. Okay. So this is what you need. This syndrome. Is, so so this is what you like got it. When you I get see it, when you feel like a girl is feeling you, you never want to like overstay your welcome. Right? So you got to laugh and you're like, oh, how you doing? You catching up. You got to be fast with the clothes. All right? So just say, for instance, I saw Miss Ramsey, right? Oh, Miss Ramsey, what's up? Ah, oh, what's up? Yeah, I went to West Side Academy. You remember me? Nah, I was. I always had this gap. Oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, it was so cute. Boom, level one, flirtness. Like, yeah. Well, listen, Um, I'm in, you know, Delama. What you doing over here in Torrance? Oh, no, I'm just, I live over here and all that. Uh, how you been? You still teaching? Yeah, yeah, I'm still. Look, hey, look, you know what? I, you know what I'm saying? I'm th- I got this comedy show. I would love for you to come and just see how, like, how far I came since that, like, retard class. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <I'm, laughs> I want you to see. <laughs> I want you to see my growth. <laughs> how far I came. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm doing it now. I'm doing it. Look, let me just take, let me take it. Let me get your number so I can go ahead and get your number and you text me so I can put tickets to the side. Um, I don't listen. See, there you go. There you go. You told me in class, don't ever second guess. Just go with it. I did say that. I did. Come on. She listen. said that to me. Don't worry about it. Just make it up. She don't, uh, she yeah, don't remember. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, you know, yeah, come on. Listen, it's gonna be fun. I want you to have fun. I had fun in your class. Like, listen, come to my class. You'll have fun. Ooh. <laughs> That was really good, actually. That was hard. I honestly, like the whole time you were doing it, I was like, damn. So then she comes to the comedy show. Comedy She's show. impressed. Now you were in your out. element. Okay. You were in your element. She was like, oh my God, Jamar, thanks for the tickets. Oh, me and my girls had, because you never invite her Free drink. by herself. You never you invite her, up, her. Then you hook her up with the drink. Yeah, hook her up with the drink. Oh my God. Time. Yes, it's like, yo, look, I don't want this night to end. Oh, I got to get up early. No, no, look, it's a bar in front. Let's just catch up. All right, cool. Just come, a couple, just uh, two drinks. Oh, I can't. All right, one drink. All right, come on. All right, I do one drink. Man, they never turn down one drink. You get it to the bar. You walk up like, hey, what do you want? Um, a Casamigos. You already know you're hitting it anytime you do Casamigos because then she don't get drunk. She don't think she can speak Spanish. You in there, right? <laughs> so so what you do is you ease it like, yo. And then you order you order a gin and tonic. Oh, they just some water. Oh, you can do Well, I do water. <laughs> okay, I okay, do okay, water. Okay. I'm like, oh, why are, you, why are you drinking water? Well, I don't drink. But I mean, I want you to have a good time. No, I'm not. Stop, 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 Miss Ramsey. (laughs) (laughs) 
better stop, girl. And that's true. Do you feel like the non-drinking was like it would have been easier for you with the drinks? Yeah. Because like you had to kind of overcome the like, yeah. oh, because I I'll, I'll be honest, if I'm hanging out with someone and they're not drinking, I'm a little nervous to drink now. Exactly. I'm like, oh, oh. Exactly. So if you're trying to get with a girl and she's drinking and then you're not, she might yeah. feel insecure about that. Exactly. Like, so you yeah. never you you drunk. Gotta, <laughs> you got to yeah. overcome it. Because <laughs> now you got to overcompensate. But this is you got to get it with the the mouthpiece. Because you're okay. like, no, stop, stop, you stop, stop, no. I know that's not my thing. I want you to like, come on. I'm a good time. I'm turn. I'm naturally like a turn up guy. And if I get drunk, I don't. I never. I don't want to be besides myself. And I want to remember this night perfectly. Ooh, okay. Shit. Okay. So then, okay. So then y'all talking. You catching up. You just like right. yo. Now you. This is you. You're you're Malachi now. You're the funny guy. All right. Now she saw you on stage and you still hitting her with the Malachi. But then you become neighbors. You commit. You get deep. He's like, man, look, ever since your class, man, I just been really like focusing on what I, I want to be better in life. You know, I'm studying. I'm I'm understanding like I can be someone. I'm like, man, I don't want to just be a crack baby. And you me? Yeah, I'm you. Okay, yeah. go ahead. I'm, I'm, I don't want to be a crack baby. Okay, I want to be this? the first crappy. Well, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, uh. Hey, what up, man? Hey, Jamal, man. It's Kevin Hart, man. What up, man? man nigga, you was funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, nigga, keep it up. Oh, that's your old teacher. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. That just happened. Go. Kevin, ain't you married? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, That's like, when you got a cock block. You like, That's when you got a, hey, bro, did you just get caught cheating? Was, so, oh, my nigga. Like, oh, yeah, I know him. I know him. <laughs> no, anyway, Miss Ramsey. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. Oh, oh, okay. oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you basically said, oh, I thought she left with uh with the teacher. Oh. Nah, nah, he, he's, he's coming up to you. Like, hey, man, oh. that shit was funny, man. Ha, ha. Oh. It's your teacher, man. I hope you guys have a good time. I'm going to go. Oh, she was, oh, my oh, God. Did you, did you know Kevin? Oh, oh, look. Fuck him. <laughs> wait, you know, no. You didn't, you didn't give me the whole... You know, break down of the story. Now you, now you oh, got something Kevin, to work yeah, with. Oh, taught him everything he knows. Yeah, exactly. Now yeah, you got yeah, something yeah. to work with. I was like, and then you continue and act like it didn't happen. Now she's freaking out like, oh my God, is that Kevin? I'm like, man, I don't care about Kevin. I want to talk to you. What's up? How you been? Mm -hmm. I you have any kids by now? No, I didn't. Damn. That pussy awful. Because nobody committed yet. <laughs> That's but you don't you say think. that. You don't think you don't oh, say, you don't that. say that. Nobody. Okay, okay, you? but get her to the hotel across the street. Okay, wait. Why would you have a hotel across the street? I mean, I was at the comedy store. Oh, yeah, the Mondrian. The okay, you had the Mondrian. Yeah, okay, so look, you be like, look, look. That's what those hotels are for, by the way. Okay, okay, look, okay, look, look. Oh, well, then listen. Oh, it's it's kind of noisy in here. Like it's all these comics. Everybody coming up to me because a lot of people. Hey, Jamar, man. Hey, Jamar. Oh, look, look. You want to go across the street? Like it's a better bar. It's like more intimate. It's quieter. Come on, it's just a couple of steps. I really gotta go. Like, stop, stop. It's just a couple more. Steps. Miss Ramsey, you stop. Come on. Man. You stop that right you now, you start, dirty right, little Miss Ramsey. That's you. What, <laughs> you gotta hit it with the grit, girl. You better stop. <laughs> you better stop. Miss Ramsey, stop. Stop. You better <laughs> cut it off. You, you hit her with some sort of shit that she used to hit you with? Yeah. Uh, class stand to attention. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to call your mama. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call you. Yeah, so you go get across the street. You're like, come on, come on, come on. And then, you know, traffic is crazy on Sunset. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? And she a little tipsy, so you got to hold the hand. Oh, shit. Ooh. Bro, you got to hold the hand, bro. Okay. Now other comics see you holding your teeth. I'm like, damn, look at Jamar. I got to get my comedy up. He just killed that shit. I'm about to go write jokes right now. Not only are you about to get some vagina, but you're also motivating your peers. Come on, bro. At the same time, you don't see do better. that. Thank you. Do better. So get across the crib. I mean, get it to the monitor. Right, right, like, right. All right, boom. Like, hey, excuse me. Um, where's the bar? And you're like, um, it's only for people who like have a hotel here. Oh, all right, fuck it. I'll just get one for tonight. No, Jamal, you doing some Miss Ramsey. Relax. Yes, Ramsey. Shit yours. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh my God, no. This is too much. I'm calling Uber. No, you know you're not. you're not. No, you're not. You say, you know how much I owe you for everything you gave me? Evan, I was just about to go there. But go ahead, finish that no, line. No, I love it. I'll be okay. like, you've done so much for me. The least I could do I, is to come is, on. Is, what's this? What, I mean, what's what, how much even is this? It's nothing. It's nothing. All right, so that'd be $466 for one night. Hey, uh, Ram, Mr. Ramsey, can I split this with you? <laughs> 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 is that what we go have these on the side? <laughs> like, 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 you know, <laughs> Jamal, you know I'm on a Teach a salary. <laughs> <laughs> well, bitch, they only gave me twenty dollars in there today. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you free tickets. Use that money. <laughs> hey, if she see you, if she see you spend four hundred and sixty six dollars on a room for one night, she has no choice but to come up to the room. And then you there, then you there. All right, there it is. But you gotta understand, it's like yo, you gotta have that, you know, that closure. Or you could be a true player like me, and you be like, you know what, let's Uber to my crib. Oh shit! And that usually don't work. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because my yeah, because my because my uh because my wall my wall like where it's supposed to be a headboard at yeah. is dirty. Why, why why you don't clean it? I don't be feeling like it. <laughs> You can't. You, can't you gotta take, have a clean crib. Yeah, that's you, for I was sure. about to say you can't take Miss Ramsey to that goddamn shack. They took her to that where Martin and uh, Pam and Gina went on that vacation yeah. off the cereal box. Oh, Chilligan's <laughs> Island. They took her to Chilligan's <laughs> Island. <Yeah. laughs> what the hell? I'm sorry, Miss Ramsey. <laughs> no bed frame, just just mattress on it's the just floor. Just ma- I'm a hippie. Come yeah. on, <laughs> she, love, she ain't going for that. All right, let's get into some current events. Well, real quick. Go ahead. Uh, I do want to know what you guys think about the Canelo scuffle. Oh, that was one of them. But go ahead. I, I, oh, so, okay. Sorry. I, 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 I let. I let. Because the guys, a lot of fans told me that they was like, "Man, we want y'all thoughts on this." I'm gonna let Jamar take it away. All right, man. Well, all right. So the Canelo. Because uh, I hit him. I hit him. By the way, I hit him as soon as it happened. The Canelo Caleb scuffle. All right. Now they're trying to they're trying to push this. Uh, they're trying to push this narrative that Canelo punked Caleb. You know, but actually, it, you know, they're like, oh, what the fucking with the quick counter and this and this and that and this and this and that. And Caleb didn't do anything. Oh, Canelo dodged that punch. I'm like, Canelo got slapped. And that's why he fucking came back. Because if Cane- because if Caleb didn't fucking touch him, if Caleb didn't touch him, then he wouldn't have uh, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have clapped back or whatever. So, you know, what I'm saying so Caleb slapped him and then he came back. Well, you, you're also skipping a part. What, what you want to talk about, like that weak ass push? That wasn't a weak ass push. Canelo almost fucking came like that nigga test in. It, 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 that was active, okay? Whoa. Uh, boxers Bro, cannot, he pushed him like literally 10 can, feet. Boxers can't move back. Listen, we have, we good, good. If you push me now, hard as shit, I'm not about to fly back 10 feet. Like, I'm, and I'm, I'm be like balanced. Fuck it. Hold on, yeah. Yeah, but you're ready for it. I'm not ready. I'm a, I'm like, yo, we're doing a face off. We're gonna reenact the face off. You okay. you you push me whenever. I am the size of Canelo. Actually. Exactly. I'm, I'm, Careful I'm though, Caleb. you you get whiplash. I'm Caleb. All okay, right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So you tell so, me, yep. and you said this the push so we, is fake. Wait, so 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 Evan, you right here when uh you you uh <laughs> you announcing it right? So we talking shit. So go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm Caleb. No, 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 okay, okay. no, 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 no,
Because mm-hmm. you go back, if you break down that video, he walks up like, motherfucker, you think I want? And he threw the left. But he barely got touched. He barely got touched. That's what like, I'm saying. That's how so quick he, Canelo was. It was oh, like, holy sure. shit. That was crazy. Caleb, yeah. Caleb, Caleb fight people on the street. Caleb is a street fighter slash boxer. What do you mean? He he was beating up this hood dude. It's like a video when? on YouTube way back in the day. Like, so, so this is like right a like couple of years ago. Oh, so Caleb can really get down. He really can squabble. Yeah. He's Damn. a street fighter. Like, Worst these are case one scenario, of, you don't know who that guy is, and you and you think you could fight him because he's like yes. a little white guy. And white you're guy, like, oh, I could beat this guy, and Thank all of a sudden you. he just like one twos you. Like, it's what the nuts. fuck? And he was doing that to like black guys on the, like these thugs on the street, and he beat. Uh, it's a video out there to white cutters and babies. DM Jamar the video and uh, send it to him. I, it's, it's dope. That's fucking crazy, yeah. man. But I mean, also this true man, power, by the way. It's also, man, power. Caleb, uh, Caleb's spirit, like, like looked a little like broke. Well, his face did as well. Like it looked like it looked like he was down. He was like his head was down and shit like that. I felt I wanted to cry a little bit. You wanted to cry for him? Yeah, a little bit because I was like, because I was like, damn, it looked like Canelo got the best of him. You know, he, especially so- if you throw the fir- like, because he threw a sucker punch. Like yeah. the slap was like a sucker punch. It wasn't like they were throwing and then he hit him. It was like he threw it at him with no warning, and then he still got. He missed basically, and then got countered immediately. Like, bro, yeah. like that would fuck me up. That, that's, yeah, that's what, like I gotta go back to the drawing board. Like November is gonna, whoo, it's gonna come around fast. I gotta. That's that's a great way to like test his speed. Like, oh, he's faster than what I expected. Mm-hmm. So now you go back to the camp and just uh, enhance and like amp your camp up. You gotta go ramp it on these pads now. You gotta be like, no, it's fast. No, he boy, did you see that head movement? Yeah, play the video again, coach. Look at this. Like- <laughs> That's, that should be the whole game plan on how I fight Canelo. Like, this motherfucking head movement is impeccable, right? So every time you have him a pass up and I'm late to react, he, Canelo go. So he, don't tell me the punches. Like, you know how that, when you hold the pass, like, one, two, three? Yeah, no. Yeah. Let me see it. Whatever I see, I hit. Yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. I'm training. Uh-uh. Reflexes. Yeah, yeah, So that's how he should train. I'm pretty sure he's doing that, looking over like, man, I'm not about to go and play and around and with Canelo. Yeah, and then also, since he got pushed by him, he has an idea of how strong Canelo is and shit, too, huh? Yeah, he moved him. But that push, yeah, yeah, that push was great. Now, Canelo, that Caleb, shit look crazy. Caleb should be doing that little reflex machine that Lomachenko does. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the whole camp. Because that's all he's, he's going to be faced with. Because Canelo's going to be right in front of you, and his head movement is going to be crazy. Like, oh, his reflexes and his counter. You really can't hit that head like that? I mean, you can't. You just got to buy. You got to give him angles. A person like that, like, Floyd, you got to give him angles. I, 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 I kept saying that shit. I'm like, I'm like, one, he can't fight going backwards. Not even pushing him back. Just fight. He can't fight on his back foot. No. no so no, no, so no, if, you, if you keep him turning and like, yo, he running into shots and when he get close, hold him. Mm-hmm. Nope. Hold him, bro. And then like, nah, get him frustrated. He's going to make a mistake. But it's rare that you have like a talent that can do that in that weight class. Caleb and is, Caleb can. Caleb is stronger than what people are saying he is, though, right? But yeah, yeah. It's like calculated strength, though, huh? Yeah, he doesn't wear himself out. He has to go all out this fight. It's mm-hmm. no, it's no saving in an attack. He should jump on him early, is what I'm saying. Yes, uh, bro. He should be able to win the early rounds, and then the later rounds is the championship rounds. That's when he should like really dedicate to his conditioning, like swimming. Hitting, hitting tires with the sledgehammer, bro. He chopping wood, like anything to get you over that ninth, tenth, and eleventh, and twelfth. Because you know Canelo's going to be there. Because mm-hmm. he's going to be down on the scorecards. He has all these people watching, and you know he has boxing on his he's back. He's going to try to go for. He's going to go for the knockout because he knows Caleb is slowing down. Caleb got to get be in that not that second win, that third and fourth win. And I know he's doing it. He's probably swimming, probably running. He's not playing unless he's there for a paycheck. But the way he's up there, like, man, I believe, like, Canelo is not uh, be- unbe- unbeatable. Yeah. I mm-hmm. like it. You think Canelo got roid rage? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What else you got? Uh, do you think, what do y'all think about Kanye West reportedly purchased a mansion uh, in Malibu for $57 million? Good on him. Okay, cool. He, he purchased a mansion for $56 yeah, 57 million. million. Would you ever? Now nah, he's a beach? billionaire. On the uh, beach? It says Malibu. Mm. That's cool, man. And the last but not least, uh, we have um, Twitter doing a debate. Is Drake in 2021 bigger than Michael Jackson at his peak? I'm going to let y'all answer, and we're going to log out. Well, no. Okay, thank you. That's the only answer that should be. Go go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I heard uh, heard Trina's boom, boom, boom. Ooh, Who's bad? bad. Yeah. I'm the baddest bitch. Yeah. When you get Trina yeah. sampling your motherfucking music to make some hood rat shit. Ooh, I like that. Well, well, what do you think? No Evan? way. 
No what? way. Michael what? Jackson was way bigger. Hell yeah. yeah. Because because he molested like ten kids <clears throat> by this time. By by that. By, oh my god. No no. But here's the thing about Michael Jackson. Right. <laughs> he, <laughs> moving on. Um, Michael Jackson was big for everybody. Like everybody listened to Michael Jackson. <laughs> Who listen? Who listen? Yeah. He, give, he gives it to him just to get it away from him. <laughs> who get, don't give me this dud at the comment like that. Who get, who was he Trey big can't to? Can't beat that. Finish finish <laughs> finish your statement. Uh, F. No, like old people, young people, everybody listen to Michael Jackson. Yes. My parents don't listen to Drake. No. Well, when Drake gets to the point where he has like have a grown ass men like Romanian dudes passing out at the concerts needing the medical attention. Then we have a That's comment. what I'm saying. Hey, but he got grown ass Romanian bitches falling out. Yeah, yeah I want that. I want that. No, well, well, Michael Jackson had both though, huh? Yeah. He, both was happening. And also, they had like nine year old kids and old grandmas and like everybody loved Michael oh Jackson. Lord. And yeah. also like m- the music store is like it's saturated now. Like you have so and, sure. like and all these artists are not like back then Michael Jackson was accessible. Like he wasn't accessible. Like you can it was like it was he exclusive. was a god. He was a god. Yeah, yeah. You only see him when he dropped a video. Now we know these these rappers and music And he was like the second stars. most famous person Thoughts. next to Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. yeah. Probably. <laughs> next to Jesus? That's you know man. who Jesus is? Bro, that's God. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's God and shit. That's what they say. That's what they say. That's um, crazy. Well, yeah. All right. Well, you got anything you want to say to the weight cutters and babies? Yo, man, we got a call out list, man. I want to call out some fighters, all right? Oh, shit. And when I say call out, I don't mean call them out like I want to fight you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. I respect anybody who get in that ring, goddammit. Much love, respect. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just want to have a call out list. We want to call you out to be on the Cutting Weight podcast, all Go right? Go ahead. Here's my list. I got a few people. Jojo Diaz, we are calling you out. Ooh, Come to the. Shit. Why are you not? Why? If, if, if you can't answer our call out, Answer Devin Haney's call, call out at least. That's all I'm saying. Uh, speaking of Devin Haney, Bill Haney, we calling you out. Come to come to come on the Cutting Weight yeah. Podcast, Explain, Bill Haney. Explain to us why everyone is ducking your son and who do he feel like he should fight next? Go ahead. Goddamn right, Shakur Stevenson. We are calling you out for it. come on the Cutting Weight Podcast. If you are gonna call out the media and saying like yo it's biased, then tell you speak your truth on Cutting Weight Podcast and tell you tell us why you feel like that. Uh, Clarissa Shields, we calling you out, baby girl. Come on the Cutaway Podcast. If you claim that you're the greatest woman of all time and you saying Katie Taylor is under you and all that, explain why and, and stop calling her out and people in the MMA and explain why you feel like you the quote. I got three more. Jerry Big Baby Anderson, we calling you out, baby. Come on the Cutaway Podcast. If you feel comfortable enough to like spar with Shakur Stevenson, a little guy younger than you, and knock out Tyson Fury, we know the background. You come on here and you discuss why you the best heavyweight and you getting overlooked. Terrence Crawford, we calling you out, baby boy. Hey, man, come on the Cutaway Podcast. If you feel like you feel like you being disrespected and you feel like, yo, you finally got someone for the PBC and you go show them what's up, we over here represented by PBC, but also we don't have anyone, but we're going to side with Al Heyman. You tell us why you feel like you being disrespected. Shout out to Snack. Yep. And last but not least, Tommy Fury, we are calling you out. Come on the Cutaway Podcast. If you feel like you the king over there in that reality TV world, and you feel like, yo, uh, Jake Paul is not a real boxer, you come on Cutting Weight with real boxers, mine is Jamar and mine is Evan, and you say why you feel like you're comfortable enough to be like you you can give him that first defeat. Jake Paul is who we t- speaking of. Go ahead. All right, y'all. And that's been the call-out list. Thank y'all so much. We appreciate y'all. That's been another episode of Cutting Weight with Mally B and Jamar Neighbors. And make sure y'all tag those boxers in the uh, call-out weight cutters. Send everybody this video. Because, listen, we are a family here. It doesn't happen if we're not all on the same page. Thank y'all so much.